Hello, it's Tony here from Alex Visual Studio, and in this video we will cover the basic setup of creating the classic slit scan effect and looking at how it works. Okay, so we'll start by making a new composite shot. So we will set the width to 1920 and the height by 1080, the frame rate to 30 and the aspect ratio to square pixels. And then just go ahead and click start compositing. Now on the new layer we'll create a plane and we'll set the width and the height to 800 by 800. Now on a new plane, right click and make a new composite shot, and OK. So go ahead to your rectangular mask now, and in the center of the uh, square, just hold down the Alt key if you're a Windows user, and basically just drag until we make a nice tiny little slit. Uh, invert the uh, mask, and now we can crack on with setting up the particle simulator. OK, so now we're back to Composite Shot 1 and up in the Effects panel and in Particles and Simulation, we're going to place in the Particle Simulator. So go ahead and pull down the uh, options for the simulator and go into Emitters, Emitter, and under Trajectory, we're going to change that to Cone and set the Radius to 0. In Particle Systems, we're going to go down to Particle System and in the General, we're going to set the Particle Amount to 20. Now, in Appearance, we're going to go down to Texture Source and select Layer and Source Layer to New Plane 1 Composite Shot. Now head down to the Blend Mode and set this to Add, Color Source to Texture Color and now down to the Movement. We'll set the Scale to 370 and the Speed to 3000. Now we can move on to keyframing the frames. So, I'll back up to appearance and pull down your frame and set this to animated. Uh, select start frame and set up your keyframe for the, for the position at zero. Move ahead four seconds and set this to 900. Highlight both of these keyframes. Copy, move again, 4 seconds ahead, and paste, and repeat the process until you can make it to the end. Ok, so now in the new plane animation shot we need to make a cartridge for, to run through the slit scan. So, you can use whatever resources you have on your computer, for me at the moment I'm just going to use something really simple, I'm going to use Microsoft Paint, very professional. As you can see in figure 2, it kind of resembles what we've already created in our animation shot. We have a square plane and a masked slit running down the middle. So once we've made the cartridge, we can then keyframe the image from right to left for the emitter to start bursting out the generated exposure. Ok, so now in Microsoft Paint, just uh, zoom out to about 25% and uh, drag along on the scale until you reach the end of the screen. And down a little bit. So this is going to be the basic cartridge um, run, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to colour the entire thing black and now all we need to do is just make something random. So I'm going to start off with some lines, so go ahead and select the line and make it kind of a, a medium grey. Okay, there you go. So it's not the best, uh, pretty poor example, but uh, yeah, it'll do the trick. So let's go head back over to HitFilm and put this cartridge through the animation shot. Okay, so after you saved out the um, the cartridge from Paint, so we're going to import it into HitFilm. So import and select the cartridge you've made and drag it into the timeline. Now you can already see that we've got this bit of it showing up here. So what we're going to do is just zoom right out 
and on the X position, just literally pull it all the way until it can't be seen in the slit. And go and pull down the properties. In transform, we're going to now keyframe the position. Move forward slightly. And with the space, you're going to put it from one end to the other. Simple as that. Okay, grab hold of your last keyframe. And make it last the entire length of the uh, timeline. And head back over to composite shot one. And we'll just turn off the, um, the new plane composite shot in this, in this um, composite. Okay, now into the particle simulator, we're now going to go to the emitter. Emitter and trajectory. And we're going to set the motion path for the uh, particles to fire it. So we're going to go and we want them to face toward the camera, but we haven't got a camera in the scene yet. So, so go ahead into your new layer and place in a camera. So move forward on the timeline slightly. As you can see, the particles are spitting out to the right. So go down to the wire rotation and set this to 84. And pretty much just see how this turns out. So just play through the duration. Okay, so we're getting there. So head up to the camera and pull down the options and in lenses or lens on the zoom bring this down to about a thousand and just play that back again maybe a tad more okay so the particles are still slightly too big so we need to decrease the size so back down to the simulator and in movement we're going to shrink down the particles slightly and just turn off the floor plane Okay, so we're pretty much ready to finish up for example one. It's a matter of a few alterations, but remember th that the color source is set to texture. So if you want to color the cartridge within the animation shot, then have a bash and see how it turns out. But for this tutorial, we'll be rendering out the scene uh, to later go back into HitFilm and do some crazy stuff. So we're now going to head into the time lapse. Okay, so once you've finished your tweaks, uh, just place on some motion blur and we'll get ready to export this project into a folder. So, on the right hand corner, just click on export and go to image sequence, timeline, and set this to composite shot one. Uh, export, uh, right click and make a new folder, call it slit scan, and go into the folder, make a new folder because this is. Um, the right hand side, we're just going to call this right. And select that folder and render away. Okay, so now it's rendered out, so go ahead and save this because we will be using this later on for the um, next set of examples. And then go File, New. Composite shot. Now start compositing. Okay, so the next step is to import the image sequence. So up in import, or a little arrow, import image sequence. And now we'll go back into your videos and choose the slit scan folder and the right side export. And then select. Okay, drag it down into your timeline. Set the blend mode to add. Duplicate. And on this copy, Go into the transform settings on the scale, unchain, and set this to minus 100. And for some odd variation, just move the um, just remove the copy and drag it slightly off time. Okay, go ahead and play that back to yourself. And again, go ahead and export this one as an image sequence again. Composition 1, export, and in this time, go back out into your slit scan folder, new folder, and name this one LR slit scan. Okay, 
Okay, so again we'll repeat the process. So we go to Import Move Sequence and back into your slip scan folder. Choose LR slip scan and select folder. Drag this down into the timeline. And again, just drag it along the timeline and match up the two sequences. Now it's time to have some fun. Okay, so in the effects panel, grab yourself some gamma. And choose a colour of your liking. Go ahead and make yourself a copy. And set the first one to an add blend. And just for now, turn off the gamma for the second copy. A uh, new layer, create a new grade, and pull this down in between the two of them. And search out for your trusty fisheye warp. Okay, let's just pull the amount, a negative 100. Head up back into your effects panel again, and type in glow. And drag that again onto the second slip scan layer. And just mess about with it until you find something you like. Okay, so that's your quick basic setup for example one. And now you have your emitter saved and set up. Join me in part two, where we create star clusters, distorted and digitized effects, and seamless organics. Obviously the more work you put in, the better results you get out. If you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe and possibly share. So thanks for watching this hit film slit scan tutorial. I shall see you very soon.